Hey guys, my name is Anthony Ricciardi, and this is the Top Pitcher Workout. So, what we're gonna talk about today is flat grounds. So what is a flat ground? In regular pitching, from a 60 foot, six inch distance, we're throwing off a mound. In the winter months, and in our off season, and even during start, between starts, pitchers wanna work on off the flat ground to work on pitches and understand different things, different flaws in their mechanics. So flat grounds, we're just talking about the theory behind and understanding why we do them, is extremely important to, to work out those little kinks in between deliveries, in between starts. What flat grounds are great for is you don't have to worry about being the full distance. We usually cut it down to about a 40 foot distance, 45 foot distance, and we work on keeping our pitches low in the zone. Why do you want your pitch low in the zone? Well, think from the hitter's perspective. If we have downward plane on our baseball, which means the baseball starting from here and works on a downward angle, it's a much tougher pitch to hit. Everybody understands and everybody loves the flat pitch that's waist high that everybody can turn on. What you wanna do as a pitcher when you're working on your flat ground is have intent to keep the ball low in the zone. Make sure that you have a catcher that sets up with their glove low in the zone. In all your pitches, you wanna execute on a downward plane. So, what do I mean by downward plane? When we're going through mechanics, and what I'd like you to do is reference our mechanic video that'll show you all the different steps that we have to go through to make sure we're executing our pitch. But what I want, what I want to talk about is executing it from a flat ground position. When we're coming down through, you have to create plane on the baseball. The way we do that is making sure that our chest drives down through. So what's plane on the baseball? It's the way and the path that the baseball goes into the glove. What we want to do is make sure we come to a tall position. We're releasing out front and down through every single time. When we're, especially from the shorter distance, I mean, we're throwing from about 45 feet. We should be able to spot up quite well. Have our catcher go in, go out, go in, go out, keeping the ball low the entire time. One thing we can work on in the comfort of our own home is the towel drill. So, what I've done here, this is actually just a t-shirt. An old t-shirt that I had, I put tape in the middle of it, and what we want to do is make sure, just like a fastball, two fingers, we're holding the tape. It's just like that there. We're not gripping it like this, just two fingers right there. So, what we can do is literally replicate and throw semi simulated flat grounds in our own house or on the field or anywhere. It's a great drill to do between workouts. There are numerous amounts of flat, flat ground and towel drills. The couple that we're gonna work on today is, so, I'm a righty pitcher. What I wanna do is keep my right foot, my back foot back, my left foot in front. We're gonna take a nice big step out. Chest up tall, shoulders straight, everything is in line with my catcher. So, in this case, if I'm in the comfort of my own home, I'm right here, my bed might be right there. What we wanna do is, in one motion, hands break. Remember when we're throwing at all times, our hands break when they get past our hips, open up. So you're here, break, down through. You always wanna have a nice low target. Right now I'm using the floor, but you could put a little cinder block or a little pillow or anything that you have around right on the base, base of the ground, so you have a target to pull down through making sure we keep our balance throughout. So I'll show you from the back view, is if I'm here, my chest is tall, chest is up, I rotate, down through. Great, so that's that one there. I'm here, taking a step wide. The variation of that is, if you have a, have a bed frame, you have a chair, put that foot up on that chair there. So you're here, put that foot up here. So what we do, is work on, go through that exact same drill, just with your foot elevated. So I'm here, I'm in that balance point, I turn, down through. And what we, can, what we work on by doing that is muscle memory. We know that my foot has to come up and over, as opposed to just here and just dragging over that way, or just spinning off that way. Making sure we work towards our target at all times. So drill two, well again, we're gonna keep this super simple, Keep on our front foot straight at our target, our back foot back. So now I'm in my power position, right? Again, reference the mechanic video to understand what the power position is. I'm in my power position here, hands are here, down through. 
just working on your second half of your mechanic. Here, down through. And the other thing I want to talk about with the theory behind the towel drill, do it with intent. I never want to see anybody we're working on arm speed and mechanics at the exact same time, so it's an excellent tool that anybody could do. I don't want to see this. What are we working on? Nothing at all. So make sure that every single time you get here, down through. Our chest is down, our glove is back. That's what we have to do. Execute. Remember I said before in other videos, everything we, have, we do when we're working on pitching or when we're pitching, we have to do it at full force. We gotta do it like we're in the eighth inning, the ninth inning of a baseball game. Because if we work out like this, here, when we get tired in the game, what are we gonna go back to? Here. So, when we're going through our towel drills, make sure that you can go through your full mechanics. You can pitch with a towel. You can do all your different steps. Here, here, the both feet straight, rotate, down through. Make sure you do it with intent to execute at your full ability. That's the only way that we're gonna be able to succeed moving forward, moving forward, and moving forward. All right, guys, thanks again. My name is Anthony Ricciardi. This is Top Pitcher Baseball.